time for my 36th John Carpenter game, Once Be a Millionaire, the Australian Family Picture Edition for the DVD. Select either the adult or junior questions here. Okay, you've chosen to answer the adult questions. There are 15 of them between you and a million dollars. Let's get you up to the first milestone as quickly as possible. Here's the first question for $100. The London Police Force, specifically its criminal investigation branch, is popularly called Stalin Yard, Wales Yard, Ireland War Yard, England Yard, that'd be Scotland Yard, or if I had said to go um, New Scotland Yard. Take a look at question two. It's for two hundred dollars. One by certain members of the clergy is the cock. One by certain members of the clergy is the cock with what colloquial name? Dog collar, cat collar, flea collar, horse collar. Maybe a dog collar. Well done, that's right. The next question is worth three hundred dollars. Here it comes. Someone who buys shares of the county saving from a corporate is called a white king, knight, bishop, or that'd be a white knight. It's the correct yeah, corporate is part of a um, hostile takeover. Okay, the next question is for $500. Take a look. Which James was the famous Wallace outlaw? Clive James, Henry James, Jesse James, William James. That'd be Jesse James. Don't answer. bring Clive, Clive, Clive James to this. No, I meant Clive Anderson. That scene where Tony Slattery when I was doing about, I think it was the world's well, worst things watching the telly. Your... And Tony Slattery brought it up. And you'll be guaranteed a thousand dollars. Corey Legend, which town did the Pied Piper root of its bats? Hamburg, Hanover, Heidelberg, Hamburg. Pied Piper of Hamburg. You're doing very well. It's another correct answer. You are guaranteed a check for a thousand dollars, but I don't want you to give up just yet. Let's shake things up a bit now by introducing a few pictures into the questions. A brand new experience for this special, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You might as well play the next question. It's worth two thousand dollars. Played on screen by this Australian actor, Eric Banner, who is the alter ego of the Incredible Hulk. Bruce Banner. Matt Murdock, Peter Parker, Green Goblin. That'd be Bruce Banner. You've just won $2,000. You're up to question seven. It's worth $4,000. You don't have to play, but here comes the question. With umpire Dickie Bird in position, who was this famous Australian bowler? Doug Walters? Len Pesco, Dennis Lilly, Jeff Lawson. That'd be Dennis Lilly. Mm. Very well done. You've just won $4,000. The next question is worth $8,000, but you'll drop $3,000 if you get it wrong. Here it comes. These actors are seen here at a promotion for which film? Ocean's 12, Troy, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Hulk. That'd be Troy. You had $4,000, you now have 8000 It's the right answer. We're starting to play for some serious money now. This question is worth $16,000, but if you get it wrong, you will lose $7,000. Here it comes. Sherlock Holmes's creator, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, practiced what profession? Law, engineering, medicine, teaching. Could be medicine. Yeah. No I'm not that. sure if Conan Doyle was in the same realm as Anton Chekhov. <clears throat> okay, this is where you can guarantee yourself $32,000. Of course, if you get it wrong, you'll drop back to just $1,000. Take as long as you need. Here comes the question. This ALP leader considered to be 
the day PM John Howard was elected to his what term? Second, fourth, third, fifth. To be fourth. Congratulations. That is the right answer. you out a check for $32,000 guaranteed. It's fixture questions all the way now. You might as well have a go at question number 11. For $64,000, you've got nothing to lose. Here it comes. This spectacular building, the Atomium, stands in which European city? Amsterdam, Brussels, Copenhagen, Helsinki. It's in Belgium. Brussels, Belgium. That's an orangutan. Fantastic! That's the correct answer. Right, you've done brilliantly so far. The next question is number 13 out of 15. It is worth $250,000. We're talking about some huge sums of money here, a quarter of a million dollars. So make sure you take your time and think carefully before you answer. Pictured here delivering his 2004 Christmas speech is the king of which country? Juan Carlos. Netherlands, Greece, Spain, Norway. It was the um, the king of Spain back then. Yeah. You're really in the money now. The Netherlands was um, Queen Beatrix. Nor was uh, well, uh, Nor Nor was Harold V, and then Greece. Had to buy Kip Alston in 73. Okay, you are now just two questions away from becoming a virtual millionaire. If you get this question wrong, you will drop all the way back to 32,000. You're playing for serious amounts of money now, so be very, very careful. Here comes question number 14. On January 1, 2002, this currency officially replaced those of how many European Union countries? 10, 12, 14, 16. That'd be 12. You've just won half a million dollars. Well, congratulations. You have played a magnificent game so far. 14 questions correct, so just one more to win $1 million. I've got to remind you that if you get it wrong, you would drop a mammoth $468,000. Hardly been thinking about that. So here we go, the very best of luck. Okay. These two scientists, Bronken and Baccarel, won Nobel Prizes for which category? Chemistry, literature, medicine, That'd be physics for both. Both Frank and Berkman won Nobel Prizes physics for their works in radiation. You had five hundred thousand dollars, and you risked it to go for a million. I can tell you, it's the right answer. Congratulations, you are a virtual millionaire. You played a magnificent game and answered all fifteen questions correctly. Well done. Very well done, and thanks for playing the family picture edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?
Thanks for watching.